actually sign a contract, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But so we, her, her mother, I believe, uh, also mm-hmm. signed the contract. And okay. we agreed to fly her and her mom out to Los Angeles June 5th mm-hmm. of this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, she came in, and she she just blew us away in the studio. She just was amazing and perfect. Mm-hmm. And as as the uh, song, I think, reflects, you know. So that's that's basically the story. Wow. So this is the raw version of the music. With your permission, we'd like to play for uh, some of our audience who might be interested. <laughs> নিজে ছায়ার পিছে আমি বেতাল হয়ে ছুটেছি Rajivan me and Paul Basha and some of our, some of the local Minnesotans we have kind of put together a user group of uh, cultural minded people who are interested on doing this kind of cultural shows in Minnesota and we had this website which Rajiv was promoting um, and for on behalf of this cultural organization we have been working with KFAI to uh, promote our culture with KFAI. And KFAI is the radio in Minnesota, which is a public radio, which promotes all the local international cultures. So we have been fortunate to have KFAI promote us. And uh, for a women's Day program with Irina, Paul Bosha was actually participating. And I don't know if I was there or not. Essentially, we took that as a raw video to promote that we work this kind of things. And we put it in YouTube. That's how you found us. <laughs> Or maybe Matt and found luckily, out. L- luckily for us, because... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and Paul was complaining that since we didn't have enough light, we shouldn't put that video into the website. <laughs> well, it, it, you're, it, it, was, it wasn't particularly well lit. You're right, you know. But fortunately, <laughs> she sang something, and, and that... Yep. Uh, and that's, yep. and, and, that's and, and the strangest got. part is, uh, and to, to, the, uh, to, the, to our point, um, that show actually ran out of uh, time, so we had to figure out on the spot something to cover the time, and we said, "Paul, would you sing a song for us?" <laughs> <laughs> that's really now. There you go. There's, there's. That's Matt Hardy. Irony. <laughs> <laughs> that's the true word, irony. Rajiv, you want to chime in to say something more about this incident? Well, actually, uh, I think you pretty much covered it all, but. Uh, <laughs> kind of weird how things turned out. Uh, I was supposed to do the videotaping. Uh, uh, that, that was the only thing I uh, went in there. Uh, and then I realized that I did not bring in any tape for the video camera. So I had to literally run out and go to Target to get a mini DV cam- camera tape. And so I was kind of late for the show. Uh, it was toward the end of the show, like five or ten minutes. I managed to record that day. So <laughs> it worked out well for us. <laughs> and, and I have to tell you, you know, I have thought about it because of the success of the song. I, I just can't imagine this song being what it is without Paul Bosch's amazing singing on it. It just really took uh, took it to life and brought it to life. And uh, I mean, I remember mixing it. Paul Bosch wasn't there, but it was Matt, me, and the engineer Dan, who's also the drummer. Yep. We were just going, oh, holy cow, this is amazing. She's just so good. And it just sounded so perfect for what we were trying to do, you know, and, and, uh, and accomplish musically for the video. So, And we were watching it, of course, in sync with the video. And it was yes, just well, really feeling perfect, you know. We have known Paul since he's, she's in fourth or fifth grade, I think. And she's been singing uh, everywhere, and uh, but, and we always thought her as our uh, friendly um, uh, neighbor, neighboring younger sister. And uh, after your inspiration of after the uh, success of this song, Paul actually participated the participated in in the uh, Bangladeshi version of American Idol, and she got into top fifty, and uh, then she had to leave uh, for other reasons. And she uh, even just going into top fifty. Uh, she's able to become one of the top singers in Bangladesh already. So this is just just the beginning of her journey of her music career. I'm sure she would do and really song, well. And yep, this song helped her. This song helped yep. her uh, significantly. Yep. Well done. <laughs>
It seems, it seems I, I did get a, a number of emails from uh, Bangladeshi people who just really appreciated the song and the fact that it was in Bengla and all that. So, and then Palbasha has, you know, she and I have been in touch, and she's just said that, you know, she went back to Bangladesh and was greeted that a lot of people, she was surprised that so many people were familiar with this uh, video and uh, and really pleased that it highlighted the the Bengla language and 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 also uh, I think it, well it wasn't it wasn't her it was a, a, another gentleman a, 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 a Beng, Bengali is it Bengali yep yep uh, uh, yep that contacted me and he started to tell me about how how uh, the Bengal language was so important to the people of Bangladesh and that it was the mm-hmm. reason that it, it mm-hmm. broke away from Pakistan, mm-hmm. and I guess, in the 70s, and that it, it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's, so, it's such an important part of the... Uh, and so that this really did um, kind of uh, spark nope. uh, a, a nice uh, feeling amongst uh, the people who, had, who were from Bangladesh who had heard the song. In an interesting way, there are so many languages these days are disappearing, so many smaller subculture languages. But mm-hmm. Bengali people have given blood in 1952, 21st February, where uh, just because of language, we actually got out of another sub-colonial, which is Pakistan was kind of ruling Bangladesh at that time, after the British left. So the movement of the Bengali language and the ability to keep uh, keep our language for our mother as a mother tongue is has caused the movement of liberation war, and uh, we finally separated from Pakistan and have become the cultural center for Bangladeshi and Bangla language. So when you say it's somehow somewhat uh, similar to French, the person uh, if you look at scientifically, of course, it's the personality of the languages. There are male languages, there are female languages. So that that phonetics would be there. But if you look at how the French people is so much proud for their culture and heritage, Bengali people are simil- in a similar way because uh, one of the first Nobel laureates in the whole Indian subcontinent and the people who first broke out of colonial uh, thinking theme was the Bengali movement during both British time and both Pakistan uh, colonial time in Bangladesh. So we had to struggle to keep our own language and that is why 21st February is declared by UN right now. So this is this has been a great story, uh, and g- having Bangla this kind of honor for so many thousands and millions of people who dances behind <laughs> a song which is written by a Bengali poet, poet and sung by a Bengali singer, sing this a group of Americans who's introducing to the rest of the world is awesome. Anyway, but let's get to you. Um, we heard that recently you have gotten a Hollywood Music Award or music video for this song. You want to share some of your experience regarding that? Well, uh, I found out that it had been nominated <coughs> excuse me, um, for a, what's called the Hollywood <coughs> Music excuse Awards. <clears throat> and, um, and I won for Best uh, Music Video. So uh, that was a, 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 a very enjoyable evening. I got to get up and, and thank people, and, and uh, it, it was a, a nice honor. So I'm very pleased about that. And, mm-hmm. um, and, and I, you know, I mean, I get emails, many emails every week still to this day. I just got an email the other day mm-hmm. from a gentleman who is the, uh, the organist with the Boston Symphony, and he's also the head of the organ department at... Um, uh, Oberlin Music School, and uh, a professor, and he just said, this is one of the most beautiful songs he's ever heard, and he's wondering if I could send him a signed, autographed uh, copy of the you know, the music. So, I mean, people have really responded uh, in an amazing way, and, uh, and I have, uh, you know, Matt Harding uh, to thank for hiring me, and uh, um, and some very amazing musicians, um, of, of course, Paul Basha, who just really is so stunning, and uh, and Dan Blessinger, who engineered and played drums, and Kevin Dukes, who played guitar and bass. Um, so it, it, it really, and, and some great uh, string players. Uh, if anyone has seen the video, you will actually see me conducting the orchestra the day that we recorded Paul Basha, actually, uh, and da- Matt is dancing next to me uh, while I'm conducting. You can see the string players for about two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so any future plan with Paul and this music and taking this music to the next level or this introducing a music that is uh, harmonizes the world like this with peace and everything? Do I have any more plans? Yep. Well, right now I am very busy. I am writing a lot of music, um, you know, uh, for actually for video games. Um, I'm mm-hmm. so I'm I'm in the thick of it, as they say. I, I'm up to 